Hello everyone, welcome back to another Beyblade Burst uh, review video. And in this video, we're going to be reviewing Zest Achilles. Let's do it. We have Zest Achilles here, but let's not focus on him just yet. Let's focus on Chain Cerberus with... Uh, yeah, I think this is the Fortress Disc. Yeah, this is the Fortress Disc and uh, uh, Never Driver or Performance Disc. Looks pretty nice. Does it spin here? No, it does not. It's just stuck there. Okay. And we have Hollow Ragnarok. This is supposed to be Death Scyther, but it's Ragnarok. So it's Hollow Ragnarok with no um, Forge Disc and Driver. It's just this one thing. So, now nah, we'll, fo we'll focus on Achilles now. And of course, we have the A-Gear coming from Achilles A-Blade. Specially made by Bell to uh, attach it to his Belio Beyblade. We have the Illegal Disc. I think that's what's called. Yeah, Illegal. I don't know why it's called Illegal, but here it is. Backside. And of course, we have Quattro, which originally came with Spriggan. Very nice. It has four modes. You take these tabs down here. Use them to push up and then you can um, cycle through all of the different tips that Quattro is capable of switching to. Boom. There we go. And of course we have Achilles. Very nice. If I remember correctly, this thing has like 48 different modes. I won't be covering them in uh, extreme detail. All you need to know, this can spin left spin, right spin, upside down left spin, and upside down right spin. And it has a defense, attack, and stamina mode. Basically, it has everything. It's cracked. And with uh, these uh, blades here, it can either be... It can, the blades can either be up here or down here. And not only that, it can also... Hold on, I'm having trouble trying to figure this out. Hold on. Uh, how do I... Uh, how do I... Uh, how do I... How, how, how do I do this? I think it's like this. Yeah, it is. And uh, it has a defense mode, of course. It, is, it has an attack mode. Yeah, something like that. I'll figure it out as it go as I go. So yeah, this thing has a lot of modes. Let's skip it for now. Actually, let me assemble, try and assemble it. Things like this, yep. And then I put this down here. Oh yeah, this too. I can put them on high mode and low mode on each side in each rotation, in each position of which where the the blade is configured to. It has a lot of modes as intended by Takarotomi. Oh, very nice clicks. Very strong. Very strong clicks right there. Very nice. And of course we have Chain Phoenix. Yeah, this is Chain, Chain Phoenix. Along with the Fortress Disc and the Never Driver. Yeah, this is the Never Driver. Oh, it's very dirty. I guess this thing's been in stock for a long time. And of course, it's very tight. I mean, it's it's good, but it, uh oh, it's stuck. It's stuck. hold on. Okay, okay. Let's not do that just yet. Also, this uh, metal thing up here doesn't have teeth, so it can't actually do anything. I guess it's kind of good that it's very tight right here, but it still sucks that. It doesn't have teeth though. Oof, of course. And we have mm, we have chain. The gimmick of which is it has this things. Depending on what uh, armor you're using, you can either put it in the high mode or low mode. And these things can just fly out and act like a mini barrier similar in use with Lucifer, yeah. It has six chains over here, so one right here, one right here, one right here, 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 so it's six. Yeah, it can either change from a very defensive tactic or less defensive. It's still very circular, so it's still gonna resist a lot of damage along the way. But I can put this in low mode if I can. 
there we go and there we go with this mode these chains these chains are very free well un unlike this which is uh, very tight because of the plastic it's being used with or um, uh, push you out I can put the armor on top of here and then all of these things will be locked in place, won't move, and will be very defensive. And we do this. Boom. It's very defensive. Right now. Look at that. This won't move. None of these will move. Maybe I'll get to... Yep. Very much. And it... Well, it's a good thing it's very tight because uh, it has no teeth. The friction between the smooth uh, plastics basically the only thing keeping this thing from bursting. Put them in the middle. middle. Yep. Very good. And of course we have Hollow Death Scyther. Or I mean Hollow Ragnarok actually, not Death Scyther. So, I guess, yeah, this is it. Oof. Okay. Uh, we have the 1D whatever armor thing and the two the chip and then the uh, attack layer. Yup. This is metal. Very good. This is metal as well. Yeah, that pretty much uh, covers all of this. Um, not very tight. That's concerning. And I can use this here. very wobbly but that's the point with uh, the hollow disc and death scyther it needs to be unstable to deal a lot of attacks so I guess the uh, only thing now is to install or attach the stickers see you in a bit and we're back we have uh, zest Achilles filled with stickers it definitely looks more Amazing and stands out a little bit more. We have the stickers on the blades. The stickers with the Z on the lay uh yeah layer. Let me remove this. Yep, the yellow Zs. I also uh, figured out the how it goes from attack mode and defense mode in each uh, side and rotation. Basically, if you go like this, this is the attack mode, as you can see very clearly. Thank you, camera, but if you use it upside down, this is defense mode. Because, uh, how do I do this? How do I do this? I've got, um, notice how it's a bit more circular. It has the blue things here, making it more circular and become more defensive. So that's how I figured it out. Anyways, time to uh, look at it with a little bit more. I just realized how thin Achilles is actually. Zest Achilles, the zest layer. Very thin. Without the um, armor itself or blades, it's really thin. Jeez. The armor blade itself is also very thin. But Achilles is only normal. In terms of chip size, well, it's a bit bigger because it has the uh, dual spin rotation uh, mechanism here, which makes it spin left and right. The Quattro, I put in the stickers, very nice. I also put in the stickers on uh, Chain Phoenix. Um, the stickers uh, that came with them weren't the original ones. It only came with the stickers from the actual uh, Chain Cerberus. Because it has the yard uh, sticker thing for the disc, I mean the driver, but it doesn't have the sticker thing for Phoenix right here. So we only have the stickers for Fortress, I mean the, only the stickers for Chain, Chain Disc, I didn't put here on the Never Driver. We also have Hollow Ragnarok, this also is just another sticker set for Hollow Death Scyther. So we didn't get a sticker for Ragnarok here. 
so that's kind of disappointing we only have this yeah i think that's the xl driver yeah it's not great this is why you should always buy from the original Takarotomi. I'm only viewing these Beyblades for content reasons, review reasons, so I can help people find what they need when it, in terms of fake Beyblades because not everyone is blessed with money. And I'm just trying to make their lives a little bit easier. So buy from Takarotomi. Buy the fake ones if you really want to. Buy them at your own risk. Let's start with this. 32.1 very nice hold on let me assemble this this has the keelys is so intricate hold on we have 31.5 grams quattro driver how much do you weigh 9.5 we put you together and then it'll be 73 on the dot oh 73.1 what the a gear 4.5 what about um, Chain Phoenix, 34.3 The Fortress Disc, 30.3 grams And the Metal Nothing, uh, Metal Never Driver, 8.9 Together Gosh dang it, 73.5? Yeah, 73.5 Just Hollow Ragnarok, 29.2 Okay, I guess it's time for battle and we're back, Phoenix High Mode, with uh, Zest Achilles Attack Mode on the Lair, Right Spin, um, Upper Mode, Low uh, low Mode, Upper Rotation, Low Mode, and the uh, Quattro Driver on Attack Mode. This thing has a lot of modes. We're gonna put Fortress uh, Chain Phoenix first. Then... Achilles circling around, not doing any- oh, we have contact. Um, oh, that was a huge hit, huge hit, huge hit, huge hit. Achilles, oh, and Achilles won. One click from Chain Phoenix, and no clicks for uh, Zest Achilles. Second round for Chain Phoenix first. We have Achilles. Oh. Again, Achilles is just circling the battlefield, not doing anything to attack. And then it's going to attack very heavily in the next hit, I'm guessing. Yep, very much. Ooh, ooh. We have. Uh, we have Chain Phoenix with uh, Survivor Finish. This thing not receiving any clicks whatsoever, while this one suffered one click. Last battle. Big hits, big, big hits, big hits. Big hits for the last battle. Well, it's gonna start becoming a circling survival match again. Ooh, big hits. Ooh, ooh, and... Survivor finish for Achilles. I doubt there's going to be any burst finishes here because Fortress, I mean, Chain Phoenix right now is very cracked when how tight the gears are in this thing. It's gonna have a hard time bursting. So let's leave it at that. Oh, what? Well, we face him with Raphael. That'll be a good matchup. Raphael on attack mode. Let's do it. Achilles on defense mode. Which one goes I, 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 I. Oh, oh, big hits, big hits. Armor is lifting up. The armor, well, yeah. Ooh! That was a bring out finish. And the uh, mechanism, burst locking mechanism, just barely saves it. Look at that. While well, Achilles suffers no clicks whatsoever. Round two. Three, two, one, go shoot. Okay. Okay, Raphael un out of control, while Achilles is in the middle, very stable. I don't think Raphael is going to win this one. The armor is up, that's good. No matter how much defense Raphael has, it still doesn't have enough stamina. And the burst lock saves 
Raphael again. Look at that. Three, two, one, go shoot. Okay. So we're both in a very simple mode. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, I like the sounds. I like the sounds. But it doesn't matter. Achilles still has a lot more stamina than uh, Raphael. Even though Achilles in its, is in its uh, defense mode. Wait, hold on, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Achilles is losing a lot of stamina. Oh, Raphael won. But what happens if I put him in his stamina mode? 3, 2, 1, go shoot. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Oh, oh, big hits, big hits, big hits, big hits from the dagger. Ooh, ring out finish. Ring out finish. That almost destroyed my laptop. Achilles launched into my laptop. I caught it just in time. Of course, the burst locker saves him. And no click suffered from just Achilles. Very nice. Achilles is in half health. What? Whoa. <laughs> what? It's time for Ultimate Valkyrie versus Zest Achilles. The rubber in this thing is very beat up. I super glued it back in place. And we're gonna see how much damage they're gonna do to each other with Achilles. Wait, hold on. Let me put him on defense mode. Hold on. All right. Achilles is on full-on defense mode. Let's do it. Versus Valkyrie. Ooh, 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 ooh. And it's a burst finish for Achilles, destroying Valkyrie. Let's do a second round. Ooh. That's a ring on finish right there. Are you gonna go shoot? Uh, let's boom, boom. Oh, 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 oh. No, 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 no. Nope. Uh oh. The rubber is very much getting destroyed. Very much getting destroyed. It's also very nice that it's always hitting in this spot because this is where the face is. I like it. I'm gonna use Evolution Driver, but without the high thing. So it's gonna be extremely short. I wonder how much damage gonna it's gonna deal. Oh, 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 oh! That's a left one. Oh! Never mind. So, that's going to be Zest Achilles. Like, comment, and subscribe for more Beyblade Burst review videos. And uh, buy the original Takarotomi ones because they're officially better. Because they are the original manufacturers. Thank you for watching. Peace.